I saw Jalen Jelks once in a high school football game, and I have to admit, to be completely honest, he was not that impressive uh, during the Honor Bowl game that I saw. It was on a Saturday morning. Uh, his team had just traveled in from Arizona. And so I think a lot of that played into him not completely dominating that game as I would have expected him to. He was an outstanding looking prospect uh, even in high school. He was all of six foot five. He was 245, and that's what he's listed now at Oregon, I believe, 6'6", 245. So he really hasn't even developed physically at Oregon, but his game has gotten so much more mature and so much more skilled and impactful that it's really uh, impressive to see him develop the way he has. When I saw him in high school, he didn't use his hands really violently. Um, he wasn't incredibly aggressive every single play, and so those were some of the concerns. Of course, he looked great. Uh, you looked at him and, and it looked like he was a kid that could dominate every single play. Um, but when I saw him in that one game, and obviously that's a you know a limited evaluation, um, uh, he did not dominate the game as I expected. But since he's gotten to Oregon and taken to that college coaching, um, his hands have become much more violent. He's excellent coming off the edge. Uh, he swarms to the football. He wraps up and tackles and all the things that NFL teams are going to be looking for in a defensive end. So obviously, you know, projecting out a few years, our ranking of Jelks was definitely wrong as a three-star prospect uh, because he's had such a tremendous impact for the Ducks and really does project as someone um, who could be a first-round NFL draft pick because teams at the professional level are going to love his size, 6'6", 245, his athleticism, and his aggressiveness coming off the edge.